What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I will be reviewing yet another beer from the Fidens Brewing Company and they are out of Colony, New York and this is their Jasper. So they're calling this one a double IPA that is brewed with Citra hops. It comes in at 7.8% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed and at the time of review, this can is just over three weeks old. I wanna give a huge thanks and shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and a fellow beer tuber, Kyle, over at No Hype Beer Reviews for hooking me up with this one. In the description box, I'll post a link to Kyle's channel along with the beer mail boxing video I did that contains all the goodies that Kyle hooked me up with. And uh, Kyle's a great guy, awesome channel, and he gets his hands on some fantastic beer. And that's why he sent me four beers from Fiden's in the uh, beer mail. And I've already reviewed two of them. And it was their uh, Eugene's Axe and their Jasper with Nelson. So it was this beer, but dry hopped with Nelson hops, and it was delicious. So this is just the base Jasper, one of their regular rotator, uh, rotating offerings. Uh, Citra hops is kind of featured in this one, and I can't wait to get into it. So once again, thanks to Kyle for this one. Uh, three, just <clears throat> this is just over, a couple days over, three weeks old. I purposely waited on this one because... Fidens is known for, you know, having a little bit of hot burn when it's, uh, their beers are a little bit fresh. So when Kyle sent it, this beer to me, I think it was like eight days old. So, uh, I waited a couple weeks and we're going to crack it open as I did here and pour it into this glass. So we got the beer tree glass. I like the fact that it has the green, just like, uh, the Jasper font. So I don't know. Let's get it into this glass. Yeah. It's pouring out like that milky turkey gravy kind of look to it. Their other beers kind of look like this, maybe not as like vibrant in the glass. Um, it's going to be a dull on camera. I know the camera's always dull, but in person, yeah, it has that turkey gravy kind of look to it, like butternut, butternut squash soup. That's kind of what it looks like. It's super murky and turbid, like you can't see that through it at all. Has about three quarters of a finger of uh, an off-white, really creamy looking head, but yeah, that kind of plays the role of these beers from Fiden's, very similar to the other two. Let's get a nose. Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, so hands down, two sniffs into this one. This is the best nose from the Fiden's beers that Kyle sent to me so far. I still have a necessary means for a necessary means to review, but this is better than both Eugene's Axe and Jasper Nelson. This is fucking dynamite in the nose. Holy shit. So it has, it's really fucking weird. Like it's, it's all over the place in the best way possible. So I'm getting super creamy, like peaches, mangoes, apricots, a lot of stone fruit, but like a creamy kind of sensation to it. But then on the flip side, there's this huge, like dank marijuana kind of vibe to this one. Mary Jane to a T. Holy shit. It's, it's like they're fighting one another, but it's awesome because each time I go in, I'm hit with that like crazy, creamy, fruity, juicy peach, mango, apricot. But then right after that huge dank uh, component to this one, it's crazy. Shit's crazy. A little bit of like an earthy hop kind of note to it. A little bit of like a touch of like a slight biscuity, maybe like crackery type of malt sensation. Maybe a little bit of a, a touch of a uh, floral component as well. Now I'm getting underlying citrus tones, like a really sweet OJ, maybe, dare I say, tangelo. Hybrid of a tangerine and a grapefruit. Fucking fantastic fruit. So, so juicy. Yeah, this is fucking dynamite. Holy shit. I am not even getting a hot burn or any kind of anything that would indicate to me this has like any kind of astringent like green vegetal matter in the nose. Like a lot of times you can just smell it's going to have that hot burn. Not at all. Not at all in the nose. Like the nose is phenomenal. Like Fiden's is hyped and based on this nose, this is like, this is like, this is equal to the hype from them. Like I understand it just on the nose. My mouth is watering. I want to take a sip of this. So cheers everybody and thanks again, Kyle. Okay, so got to keep it 100 with you guys. This is really fucking tasty, but it's not like world-class blowing uh, my mind type of aroma carrying over to the taste thing. Nah, it's not, that's not happening. The taste is definitely better than the aroma. It's still really fucking good in here. So I think I mentioned this in the Jasper with Nelson review. The one thing I can say about Fiden's without question of the three beers now I'm drinking, their bodies and mouthfeels are fucking spectacular for a, like a round, like the Eugene's Axe was eight and eight and a half. I think the Jasper Nelson was seven, nine, this is seven, eight. For something in that realm, these fucking bodies and mouthfeel are just great. 
Body's like higher side of medium body. It has a viscous, hefty kind of feel to it for something that's not even 8%. And then the mouthfeel, soft, smooth. And this one is actually creamy. So that like creamy kind of sensation I was getting, the nose carries over to the taste. This is the best mouthfeel of the three because it's so creamy. The other two were soft and smooth, very treehouse s but this adds that super creamy vibe to it. But the taste is really nice too. Rep front, there is a lot of citrus, and which again, that was kind of like a secondary player in the nose, but tangelo, it has it has a nice tangelo, like sweet kind of um, fruity vibe, but there's a little bit of like a zestiness too from the peels, a little bit of pithiness, a little bit of bitterness, but mostly leaning juicy. So I'd say tangelo, whether you want to say tangerine, grapefruit, or an actual tangelo, kind of in that realm. Not as much of the OJ and like... Uh, you know, like super juicy, just like like OJ or like tangerine juice. It has it has a little bit more of like a bitterness or like a white grapefruit kind of um, touch at the front of the palate. Right after that, the stone fruits hit, and it's more to the peach and apricot side of things as opposed to melon or or, or, or mango. I, I don't know why I said melon. I meant mango because that's what I was getting in the nose. Peach, apricot, uh, mango. It's more peach and apricot. As it hits mid palate and carries on to like three quarters of the way through the palate, there's this really really robust kind of like dank earthy vibe it was super super dank in the nose like i said marijuana like real real big dank in the taste though it's more of like this earthy almost like tomato stock kind of green uh like vegetal matter but it's it doesn't have that like hot burn it's like more of like a straight on tomato stock it's green, it's earthy, it's dank, but again, not in that negative kind of way where you're talking about like a hot burn or something like that. It just has those kind of characters to it. This one finishes slightly dry. It has a mild to moderate bitterness. This doesn't have a lot of bitterness, but I don't find this overly sweet either because a lot of times with these like seven and a half, eight percent double IPAs, I mean, Hot Butcher is one of my favorite breweries. A lot of times, I mean, just recently, I don't know when you'll see it, but uh, the megabyte from them is is a seven and a half percent of YPA, and that has a, a decent amount of sweetness with no bitterness. This doesn't have a lot of bitterness, but doesn't have a lot of sweetness, so it's still balanced. But I don't think it's like over the top sweet or anything. As I continue to drink it, I'll be honest with you, it's a fucking really tasty beer, but that nose just set me up for disappointment. I think the best thing about this one, again, is the body and the mouthfeel. I really like the flavors. They're a little bit more disjointed in the taste than on the palate, but it's still it's still really good. Uh, I can't tell it's 7.8% outside the body. Like just pouring this and drinking it and having that sensation on the palate, I could definitely tell you this is around 8% at the very least, maybe even bigger, I would guess, doing it blind. But like there's no astringent alcohol character on the palate or any kind of warming or anything. It's really nice though. What was that? I just got like a nice melon. So I said melon earlier, but like a honeydew melon, a little bit underneath of it, everything. Not really getting any malt in, in the taste, like substantial malt that I'd be like, oh, it's totally, you know, bready, biscuity, whatever. <sighs> Where do I rate this? I don't know. I don't remember. I wish I would have went back and remember what I gave. I think I gave Eugene's Axe like a 4.35 or a 4, no, maybe a 4.3. And then I gave Jasper and Nelson, I think a little bit higher, like maybe a 4.4. I think I like this as much as the Nelson, Jasper with Nelson, but for completely different reasons. Like that was pretty big on the Nelson, right? This just, I love the body and mouthfeel. Like each sip, it's like great. It just sitting on the palate is fantastic. The flavors aren't as great. So I don't remember what I ra rated uh, Jasper with Nelson. But I will say this is kind of similar to that one. Maybe you catch me on a certain day, I'll like the Jasper and Nelson better. Catch me on another day, I'll like this one better. But I think this is a really fucking well-made, tasty uh, double IPA. And I think like I could have probably drank this maybe a week ago or something to that. Yeah, maybe, maybe a week ago, maybe even 10 days ago, just because I'm not getting really substantial hot burn on this one. So uh, the best I can do on Jasper from Fiden's, one of their regular rotating offerings, uh, and I say this like in a bad way around, you know, because there's so much hype behind it and everyone goes crazy, but this is really fucking good. I think I would probably give this like a 4.3 out of 5, if not for that bonkers body and mouthfeel. So I'm going to bump this up into the low 4.5 out of 5 range. I'm going to go 4.4 out of 5. I think that's a fair score for what I'm drinking here. 
I think if the nose carried over, this is high 475 all fucking day long, no questions asked, but it didn't. And uh, the body and mouthfeel kind of made up for that to some degree, but I don't think the taste kind of covered what was going on uh, with the nose because the nose is fucking dynamite. So 4.4 uh, out of 5 for Jasper from Fines. Fucking great score. Great beer. Just that nose. Mm, that nose. I just this. You know what this reminds me of? And I'm not saying this is... Uh, in comparison to this beer specifically, uh, comparatively speaking, though, in terms of like my recollection and how I kind of thought about that beer, this is very similar to Treehouse's Green for me, where I've had that beer three or four times, and every single time I have Green from Treehouse, the nose is fucking immaculate, and then I drink it, and I'm like, it's still delicious, but that nose is way better than the taste. And I think that's kind of where this beer lands for me, is the nose is definitely better than the taste. So it still gets a really good score. Uh, but at the end of the day, that nose mm, just tugging on my heartstrings and my heart's not all here. Anyway, uh, price and availability, I believe these are $5.50 a can at the brewery, uh, which, you know, $22 four pack, kind of in the realm of what you pay for something like this. And uh, availability, it's fine. You got to go to the brewery. You got to wait in line in your car. And I believe they have drops on a Wednesday and Friday, or uh, Wednesday and Saturday. They usually do Saturdays, the main one, but I think they do Wednesday now. So a uh, huge thanks to Kyle for all the Fines beers. I'm really happy that he hooked me up with a lot of their regular rotating offerings. So when I post these reviews, you might have a fresh batch of this one. Uh, you might have a fresh batch of this one six months down the line, but you'll still be able to uh, come back to this review and be like, oh, you know, uh, yeah, what he's saying is completely wrong because his palate's terrible. And I'll be like, yeah, you know what? It is. But uh, yeah, anyway, huge thanks to Kyle. Go over to Kyle's channel. Check him out. Great guy. Uh, drink some hyped beers and uh he drinks beers like this and uh yeah it's just a nice guy i'm, I'm like super happy he was able to hook me up with four different beers from them because i really wanted to give fidens like a a really fair uh review and drink their stuff and it's really really good but like i said with this beer 4.4 out of 5 is a fucking fantastic score i just wish the nose translated so if you've had this one before let me know what you think about it. appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the beer patrol to the next one cheers